Hey Brazen, so for tomorrow's workout, you're going to need a set of dumbbells, a single dumbbell, kettlebell, or whatever odd object you have been using under the viaduct for your weights. We're gonna start off with a six minute AMRAP of 10 high pulls and 10 sumo deadlifts. Then after that, you're gonna move into the second component, which is a four time with a 12 minute cap descending ladder of 10 reps down to one of uh, hikes, dumbbell or kettlebell hikes, dumbbell or kettlebell suitcase deadlifts, dumbbell or kettlebell overhead squats. Then lastly, you're going to move into that third component, which is a six minute AMRAP of 10 crab toe touches and 10 plank marches. For these high pulls, I'm going to use my single dumbbell. I like to hold the dumbbell in the center. I think it helps bring, help me bring my elbows a little bit higher. Um, so keeping my feet or about my hip width distance, bringing those elbows up as high as we can, making sure that we're keeping the dumbbell close as we bring it up and our elbows high above our shoulders. Making sure that we're not bringing the dumbbell out here, keeping, keep it close, keep our core engaged, and bring it back down. Also make sure that we're not using our hips too much um, to help us bring that dumbbell up. Then for the sumo deadlifts, I like to hold the top of the dumbbell and wrap my fingers around uh, the grip part. So hip feet are wider than hip width distance apart. Um, sending those hips back and down, slight bend in the knee, coming up to full extension making sure that we're keeping a nice tight back as we're pulling up on the dumbbell. Then going into these hikes. So you're going to start again, 10 reps down to one. The dumbbell is slightly out in front of you. You have a slight hinge. So you're hinging at the hip, slight bend in the knee. As you swing this kettlebell back or dumbbell back, you have a slight um, raise in the hips. And as you bring it forward back to touching the ground in front of you, you're bringing those hips back down. So a slight rise in the hips. And as you bring the dumbbell in front of you, you're bringing those um, hips back down. So making sure that we're not rising our hips too high and coming forward. Again, just keeping that slight raise in the hips as we're coming back down. Then going into these suitcase deadlifts, like you would carry a briefcase or a suitcase, um, keeping it at your side, sending those hips, keeping your feet in our deadlift stance, sending those hips back and down, slight bend in the knee, coming up to full extension. So you're gonna move through these, making sure again to keep a nice tight back and come up to full extension. Make sure as we're bringing that dumbbell down, we're not tilting to the side and coming back up. We're keeping our body straight, sending those hips back and down, coming up to full extension. Then for the overhead squats, I need to go with a lighter weight, a bottle of Klua, pushing up on that dumbbell or kettlebell, making sure that we're keeping our arms straight and using as much force to keep that dumbbell pressed over the head, making sure that we're not bending our elbow, keeping that arm straight, feet helps me, to keep them a little bit wider than hip width distance, not a lot. Coming down into that squat, really pushing up on that dumbbell and coming up to full extension. So sending those hips back and down, keeping that chest up, coming up to full extension. Then going into the last component, which are these crab toe touches. So coming into almost like a reverse bridge, really pushing up through your hands, squeezing those glutes at the top, going through those alternate, uh, the crab toe touches. So bringing my left hand to my right foot, alternating, moving through 10 crab toe touches, really driving those hips up as much as possible, pushing through the hands, squeezing the shoulder blades as you push, as you reach to touch opposite hand to opposite foot. Then lastly are these plank marches. So coming onto your forearms, coming into a plank position, 
keeping um, our midline engaged, core is tight, reaching out in front of us for each rep, making sure that we're not rocking those hips as we try and touch and march and touch the floor in front of us. That is all I have for you all today. I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you next week and under the viaduct.